Texas. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Lost of Power. Today, we're going to talk about how to play aggressive like a pro player. Do you want to see more victory scoreboards with your name on top? Well, duh, that's kind of all of us. Something important to know about pro players is their movement is always on point. They have a lot of tricks in their bag to get them out of sticky situations and come out on top looking like a god with 12 thumbs. Well, one of the biggest tricks in their bag that will make any player, whether beginner or advanced, a better COD player is called slide canceling or even just sliding. Hitting corners really hard make it difficult for opponents to hit you while you're lighting them up and that's important we need to get these 725s and hard scoping snipers off these headies and we got to show them what's good so i'm in a private match right here i'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like i got my boy uzi doing the slide canceling to me right now you can't really see it that well so i'm going to slow it down for you guys again real fast so look at this he hits this corner on my screen you could see i couldn't even see him like i could barely see him he hits this corner boom there's no way i had my reticle like five feet off the door zoomed in ready to shoot him right there there's no way and he did slide this heady right here there's no way i could have hit him i couldn't even see him until he was out on the other side so for me it's just like whoa where did this guy come from that's how pro players get you around the corners and i'm going to show you kind of what it looks like now i'm going to go ahead and do it to my friend uzi i'm going to hit this corner boom he could barely see me he's defenseless Obviously, that's in a private match, so I'm going to take us into a pub match. I'm going to show you guys kind of what this looks like while I'm doing it to random opponents. Again, I'm going to, little, I'm going to overdo it a little bit, but it's just so you can get the drift of what I'm trying to get to you guys. Yo, on a quick side note, guys, if you guys do enjoy the content today, make sure you absolutely smash that subscribe button. I just brought one friend with me. His name is Young Beast. He has a .9 KD, so that's very run-of-the-mill. A uh, 1.0 flat KD and a 0.9 KD. I'm willing to bet it's like the average of most gamers that play Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Definitely nothing special about it. So at the end of the game, you can also see the game is it's, it's mostly me. I'm, I'm making all the big plays. I'm destroying like five, six people at a time. I'm making the big holds. So today for our video, we are on Shoot House Domination. As you can see, I'm over sliding a little bit. I'm pretty much hitting every single corner with a slide cancel, just to show you guys like how effective it can be. Now, I say I'm overdoing it, but I do quite often while I'm playing with the MP5, I slide cancel, try to slide cancel as much as possible around every corner, just cause you never know when someone's gonna shoot you, light you up. It could even be someone shooting you from behind. Even if someone's trying to shoot you from behind while you're in mid slide and or slide cancel, it's really hard for someone to keep that aimer right on you and kill you. Something about the aim assist, like it just it's thrown off when you're sliding and you're just pushing super aggressively. If you stand still or you hit corners very soft, like you're zoomed in and you're just gradually going around the corner, then it's very easy for people to hit you. It's very easy for people to hit you, especially if someone's already zoomed in at that specific corner and or wall. That person yeah, should yeah, win 90% of the time, unless they have the reflexes of a dead cat. So we're gonna go ahead, we're right here, holding down B, holding down B, steam shot up real fast. Shit, hit that shit. corner, hit that corner. Hit that, boom, boom, all right. Obviously it didn't lead to the kill right there, but you can see how my muscle memory of slide canceling it could have saved me if someone was on those blue containers right there I got a trophy on here. Go ahead and skip ahead real fast Texas. by the way something important to mention um, about oh slide canceling right now, and um, everything else like movement while you're trying to play more aggressive if you use the field upgrades trophy system and hey. dead silence and you use tune up that's gonna be the fastest way for you to re-get dead silence and when you're using dead silence everyone knows you get to move faster it feels like you're almost in like zero lag then it's gonna help you create this illusion as you can see i'm hitting these corners way too hard on these kids they're just completely shook they don't even get a shot off on me but 
Devour. I like to run Dead Silence and an Ammo Box. I like to run Dead Silence and Stopping Power base, Rounds. Base, I like to run Dead down Silence down. and uh, Recon Drone for whatever the fuck reason I like to run a Recon Drone. That's fine and dandy. Do okay, you, boo boo. But if you look at their recharge rates, the recharge rate for Stopping Power base. Rounds and an Ammo Box, the Ammo Box is a medium recharge rate and the Stopping Power recharge rate is a slow recharge rate. So when you put that on a field upgrade pro with dead silence it's going to make your dead silence recharge at that rate if you use a trophy system and dead silence they both recharge at a fast rate so it's going to recharge at a fast rate and then tune up is going to give you your field upgrades 40 percent faster not including even if you get more kills as well if you get kills or if you cap bases you do objectives you get your field upgrade even faster as well so very important to know what exactly you're going for when you start playing if you want to go for a nuke you're definitely going to need an ammunition box you know what i mean i would recommend death silence in an ammunition box and obviously you don't want to be playing like balls to the wall like i'm playing right now right now like i don't mind dying like five six times as long as i take 10 15 people with me i don't mind like i'm literally just playing super aggressive i'm trying to take out as much people with me as much as possible as you can see right now, the game is just super tight. We have 136, the enemy has 139, 140 now. So I'm gonna have to stay here at B. I'm gonna have to be the defending factor, the changing factor. I need to keep them off of this base. We keep on losing this base. We get it and then we give it right back and then they hold on to it for longer. So I need to stay right here, plant myself and just keep them away from my base, which I did right there, it's perfect. I held them off for like seven kills. I got my VTOL, 8 kills, whatever it is. And I got a Cluster Strike as well. Um, one thing I like to say, I'm liking Cluster Strikes a little bit more for open maps on Domination. Just because it really helps hold the base. If you get like 4 or 5 Cluster Strikes in one game, given that's only 5 kills, but each Cluster Strike takes up what, like what? I want to say like 15 seconds. So 15 seconds times 5. That's a, that's a good amount. That's like you held off B for one full minute. No one could touch B for one full minute because your cluster strike was there. So I am I am starting to mess with cluster strikes a little bit more. Something food for thought. All right, we got to get these guys off my base again. Get off here. Get off here. We're starting to hold them a little bit more. We're starting to pull away a little bit. I like it. Just some shoot house domination 101. Um, car yard right here is definitely going to be your biggest power position on this map. For domination, at least. Oh, we need if it's not domination, we need it's going to be the winning. second power position. And the second power position is going to be windows. Of course, like, it's really gay. You see people holding it up there all day. But in their defense, if you're in windows and nobody can kill you out of windows, you can actually defend B very well. And if they can't kill you for a long time, then you got big heavy streaks. Big heavy streaks make it really difficult to do whatever maneuvers or whatever game plan you want to do because you're just dying left and right getting your shit kicked in. And obviously the only way to get them out of windows, if they're good at playing it, is to actually be inside windows. So as we're winding down on the gameplay on Shoot House today, um, important thing is just, you know, hit corners really hard, okay, slide them. If you know they're going to be on a head glitch or something, or you know their location, slide it and zoom in right away. It kind of cancels your slide out a little bit quicker, and that's going to help you play more aggressive and be more assertive into the map and just dominate the lobby, which is what we want, which is what we want, which is what we did. Today we went for 78 kills, 12 captures, 25 deaths, 15 defends, and just by far the most score in the lobby like nobody's even close i'm like 3,000 points away from the closest person so normally on my mp5 class i will rock eod ghost and tune up in that last game i was using scavenger for the majority of the game but as you saw like when the enemy team called in a chopper gunner i did switch to cold-blooded so these perks will change i use a semtex or a frag and stim shot if you're not using amps you don't want to use rocket launchers so i use a pistol or a knife and then my mp5 class very straightforward Merc foregrip, the 30 round 10 millimeter mag, stippled grip tape, sleight of hand, and the FTAC collapsible. This is the MLG CDL COD meta. 90% of people running this or they're using an M4. I just wanna say, 
Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate any support on the channel. If you did make it this far, make sure you absolutely smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Comment some fire signs down below. Comment a question down below. I do answer every single comment. GG's guys. Devour out. Stay blessed. Stay home. Stay safe. GG's.